This is Eric Sofji for PopularMechanics.com, and we're here at CES looking at the Mint. This is a new robot. It's a new cleaning robot from Evolution Robotics. The Mint is essentially a cleaning bot designed to be a little bit easier and smarter, or easier to use and smarter than the Roomba. So right now I'm going to basically pop on a Swiffer pad. This again is pretty easy. Not to make it sound too much like an infomercial, but you put the pad on, then you sort of zip it in place. They say you basically just run it into these little grooves and then slap it on. And it works with magnets, so essentially you're not dealing with any moving parts there. Now you've got a handle, so you pick this thing up and bring it where you want. So we are going to put it down right here and hit the power button it wants to turn. Yeah, there you go. got it okay now the power button's on and we're gonna start it now what it's doing unlike the uh, iRobot sort of equivalent cleaning box is uh, it's actually not just doing sort of a random algorithm where it's sort of bumps around and, and sort of crisscrosses the room in sort of a random pattern, um, there you're seeing it's, it's a, a drop-off sensors are stopping it from, from sort of toppling. But what it's using is an IR beacon. That's what this thing is. You can't see it right now, but this is shining an IR spotlight up on the ceiling of this booth. So then using what, what they call a North Star, uh, a sort of micro GPS navigation system, um, this thing is using that as a that spot as a reference point. So what that allows it to do is essentially create a sort of grid, or I guess cornrows they call it too, uh, sort of pattern of the room, which as it's doing that, it's actually mapping and sort of um, trying to remember sort of what obstacles were in its way, what the sort of shape of the room was. Because then eventually it goes around and sort of edge cleans the whole room as well. But if there are obstacles in the way too, that would help. So it wouldn't sort of, eventually it wouldn't keep running into the same stuff. Um, now the thing that makes this thing cool, another of the things, is its ability to deal with corners. Because it is square in shape rather than round, um, and it, opposed to using a sort of brush to try to sweep out the corners, it's just square with a square pad. So it sort of carefully, sort of constantly hits the corners because that's where you've got uh, a lot of the dirt, of course. Um, the, the, the uh, uh, IR sensor is what's up top. They also have other sensors that sort of help with uh, object detection and, and uh, sort of uh, dead reckoning sort of situation in order to continue navigating even when it can't fully see the IR spot. So it can actually navigate uh, 1,000 square feet, which can include other rooms as long as it can see the glow of the IR spot um, coming from the sort of source room. And uh, it's going to take a while to do what it does, but that's fine. One of the things you might notice is that it's totally quiet. Uh, this thing is, is um, it basically isn't using a lot of, of sort of moving parts to clean. It isn't using any of them because it's just using them to move around. So there's just sort of a light hum. We're going to put a wet Swiffer pad on it and see how well it handles this spray of coffee on this lovely white booth. Okay. So we're in wet mode, which means that it has a different motion than dry mode, uh, as opposed to just going, sort of uh, mapping the floor in a grid. It moves in what I guess you could call sort of a, a vine sort of movement. It basically is arcing out as it goes forward. That way, it's not just sort of smearing the uh, mess across the whole room and then going back to clean it up. It's cleaning as it moves forward. And as you can see that spot looks spick and span as they say. For PopularMechanics.com, this is Eric Sopchik.